respect. It's a basic value that confirms the inherent dignity, worth, and uniqueness of every individual. In healthcare settings, treating others with compassion and respect is an important ethical standard, but not always as simple as it might appear. Complex medical scenarios, issues of autonomy and staff shortages are just some of the challenges now facing caregivers, along with the fact that we're all simply human. It makes it much more difficult to um, decide uh, how to provide care to patients, still do uh, what we as hospitals are obligated to do while operating in this uh, marketplace of diminishing resources. Throughout the world, there are specific codes of ethics that function as reminders of a nurse's ethical duties. They also help clarify the primary goals, values, and obligations of the profession. In the U.S., for instance, when nurses need help expressing their primary commitment, they can find it outlined in the first three provisions of the Code of Ethics of the American Nursing Association. In this program, we will explore the first of these provisions, which focuses on the value of respect. It states that the nurse in all professional relationships practices with compassion and respect for the inherent dignity, worth, and uniqueness of every individual. Unrestricted by considerations of social or economic status, personal attributes, or the nature of health problems. Dignity refers to the quality of being worthy of esteem or respect. Basic respect for human dignity can be expressed in so many ways as healthcare professionals go about their daily work. Okay, it's ringing. Thank you. Yeah. Hello? For the bedside nurse, it might be through small gestures, such as assisting the patient to place a phone call or helping with putting on a robe for visitors. Or be expressed in larger ways, like assuring that patients understand the explanations given to them by physicians when securing informed consent. So I want to make sure that you fully understand what that sentence means. On a basic level, respect is an expression of the golden rule of treating others how one would like to be treated themselves. In nursing, this means taking into account the needs and values of not only patients and their families, but of one's colleagues as well. It goes beyond just being able to identify how it feels to be the patient, but rather taking a, a step further on being the patient and being the patient surrounded by you. The codes of ethics look carefully at relationships to patients. There, we're finished. As the need for health care is universal, it should transcend all individual differences. How was it? Oh, it was great. Mark had already seen it before. So this means delivering care without judgment of patients' race, religion, or lifestyle. Respecting another's value system and religious beliefs, even if they're quite foreign to one's own. They, they just think I'm crazy. I've personally never experienced anything like that before, but I think I could get a sense of why you might feel that way. Suspending judgmental thinking is easier than it sounds. I think the most important thing, especially for new nurses, to recognize is that we're all going to have our own feelings and biases about what should be the outcome. But in fact, the patient and the patient's family need to be the determiners of care and need to be the, the individuals who are satisfied with the outcome. You always impart a part of you, a part of your own values, whenever you administer care. And when we administer care, is it a matter of because we believe that's the kind of care or is it for the best interest of our patients? In planning, respect is expressed by taking the patient's culture into account, especially as it pertains to things like dietary preferences, communication styles, and other unique cultural variables. I can totally understand where the patient is coming from. In my family, we just don't make health decisions on our own. Same with my family many cultures, health decisions are not made by an individual, but by a group, a family, community, or the society at large. So every aspect of what we do for patients is really bound up in their culture, their values, and recognition of that and understanding of what their values are um, makes a big difference in being able to navigate the healthcare system safely and appropriately for that patient, which is what the